This equation, x squared equals 2 to the power of negative x, appears straightforward. However, a complete solution requires a journey through graphical analysis, rigorous calculus, and a special function designed for such problems. Before algebraic manipulation, let's establish a visual intuition. The solutions correspond to the intersection points of two functions. We will begin by constructing a coordinate system. The left side of the equation is the parabola, y equals x squared. The right side is the decaying exponential function, y equals 2 to the power of negative x. Visual inspection reveals two clear intersection points at integer values, x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 4. However, Zooming in on the positive x-axis reveals a third non-integer intersection point. The graphical analysis suggests there are precisely three real solutions to find. For a rigorous analysis, we must consider all real numbers. We will begin with the simplest case. Let's evaluate the equation at x equals 0. Substituting 0, the left side becomes 0, while the right side becomes 1. Consequently, x equals 0 is not a solution. We will now analyze the negative domain, where our graphical analysis suggested two solutions exist. First, we verify the integer solutions identified from the graph. At x equals negative 2, both sides evaluate to 4, confirming it is a solution. At x equals negative 4, both sides evaluate to 16, confirming our second solution. To prove that no other negative solutions exist, we must use calculus. We can rearrange the equation to x squared times 2 to the x equals 1. Let's define the function f of x and find where it equals 1 for negative x. The derivative, found using the product rule, will reveal the function's behavior. To find critical points, we set the derivative to 0. This occurs when x is 0 or when 2 plus x times the natural log of 2 is 0. This gives two critical points. Within the negative domain, our only critical point is at x equals negative 2 over the natural log of 2. Analysis of the second derivative shows this is a local maximum. The function's value at this peak is approximately 1.126. Our target value is 1. Since the function rises from negative infinity to a maximum greater than 1 and then falls, the line y equals 1 must intersect the curve exactly twice. This rigorously proves that x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 4 are the only two solutions in the negative domain. Now we address the positive domain to find the third non-integer solution. We return to the original equation. Since x is positive, both sides are positive, and we can take the principal square root. This simplifies the equation to x equals 2 to the power of negative x over 2. This form, with the variable appearing as both a base and in an exponent, cannot be solved with elementary functions. It requires the Lambert W function, which is defined as the inverse of z times e to the z. Our objective is to manipulate our equation into this precise structure. First, we multiply both sides by 2 to the power of x over 2. The Lambert function uses base e, so we must convert our base of 2 by writing it as e to the power of the natural log of 2. Substituting this identity is the key step. Using exponent rules, we combine the powers. We are very close. The term in the exponent must match the coefficient in front. We can achieve this by multiplying both sides by the constant natural log of 2 over 2. This gives us the exact z e to the z equals c form, 
where z is x times natural log of 2 over 2. Now we apply the Lambert W function to solve for the expression z. Finally, we can isolate x algebraically. This provides the exact symbolic form of our positive solution. The value of the W function for our argument is approximately 0 0.2657. Plugging this in yields the numerical value of our third solution, approximately 0 0.7666. Let us now summarize our findings. Our comprehensive analysis proves the equation has exactly three real solutions. We found two integer solutions by inspection and calculus, and a third transcendental solution using the Lambert W function. As a final confirmation, let's visualize all three solutions on the graph. We reconstruct the coordinate system. Here are the two functions, the parabola in blue and the exponential in green. And here are the three intersection points, precisely where our algebraic derivations predicted. This demonstrates a satisfying consistency between visual and analytical methods in mathematics. Thank you for joining this mathematical exploration. If you found this analysis insightful, please consider liking the video and subscribing for more content.